Welcome aboard, Aluxers. Today we're sailing the seven seas in some of the world's most expensive yachts. These exquisite vessels are the epitome of luxury, wealth, and status, each yacht having been skillfully designed and decorated to the owner's specific requirements and tastes. They're decked out in gold, stone, and marble, each one surpassing the next in its splendor, grandeur, and of course, price tag. Welcome to Alux.com the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Let's get started. Number 1. Al Said, $300 million Built in 2008 for the late Sultan of Oman, Qaboos bin Said, Al Said's interior and amenities have been kept on the down low. It's believed the yacht now belongs to the new Sultan, Haitam bin Tariq. The ship was built by Lursin, and they used the code name Project Sunflower during construction. The luxury yacht is 155 meters in length, has six levels, and can support a staff of 154 plus 70 guests. This beauty can reach speeds of 22 knots, and her interior was designed by London-based Redmond Whiteley Dixon Studio. But her crowning glory is a decked-out concert hall that can hold a 50-piece orchestra. Number 2. Radiant – $320 million she may not be the biggest, but she certainly makes up for it in elegance. Another job well done by Lursen, a German shipyard based in Bremen, Vegasack. Radiant stretches 110 meters and has room for 20 guests and 44 crew members. Her sleek design screams affluence, and she belongs to the Emirate billionaire Abdullah Al Futaim, whose net worth is $3.1 billion. Radiant's hull is made with steel and the exterior designer, Tim Haywood, used aluminum to complete this look. The luxurious vessel boasts a beach club, swimming pools, a gym, deck jacuzzi, and a movie theater. She also has an impressive garage, which is the area where all the toys are kept. And by toys, we mean speedboats, jet skis, and other playthings like stand-up paddle boards and luxury canoes. The yacht's been modified with sonic guns that could burst the eardrums of anyone trying to steal her, and water cannons that could sink an approaching vessel from 100 yards away. Number 3. Serene – $330 million When you're able to spend $450 million on a Picasso painting and $300 million on a French chateau, then $300 million on a luxurious yacht doesn't seem like a big deal. Prince Mohammed bin Salman from Saudi Arabia shares a wealth of an estimated $1.4 trillion with 15,000 members of the Saudi royal family, although only around 2,000 share in the bulk of the wealth, mostly gained from oil. Mohammed bin Salman spotted the vessel while vacationing in France. It was originally built in 2011 by Fincantieri, an Italian shipyard specializing in luxurious superyachts. Its original owner was Russian vodka tycoon Yuri Scheffler. The vessel measures 134 meters and can sleep 24 guests and accommodate a crew of 52. Her elegant exterior is courtesy of Epson Oino International, yacht designers based in Monaco, and her interior was designed by Raymond Langton Design. Serene has several swimming pools as well as a saltwater pool, two helipads which can be converted into a dance floor or another swimming pool, spa pools, a steam room, a snow room, play areas for toddlers, an outdoor cinema, piano room, conference room, sauna, beauty center, bar, and the added luxury of an underwater viewing room. You know, so you can see the marine life without ruining your hair. She's earned the nickname The Floating Palace, and even Bill Gates enjoyed time on her as he spent $5 million a week leasing out this mega yacht. Number 4. Dubai – $350 million to $400 million This exorbitant yacht was launched in 2006 and belongs to Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum the Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and the ruler of the Emirate of Dubai. His net worth is $4.5 billion, and he's donated more than $1 billion to humanitarian efforts in the Middle East and worldwide. But of course he had to spend some of his earnings on himself, and splurged on this beauty which has room for 48 guests overnight, but 115 day guests can enjoy the views and smooth sailing. They'll have 88 crew members to look after their every need and whim. He designed the interior himself, and the yacht features swimming pools with handmade tiles, handmade mosaics adorning the walls, a spiral staircase with glass steps that change color when they reflect light entering from the top deck, 
There are jacuzzis, social areas, a helipad, a dining area that can accommodate 90 guests, a cinema, disco, water bikes, and a squash court. She can reach speeds of 26 knots and measures 162 meters long. And Alexer's coming up. What does 100,000 kilograms of precious metals, dinosaur bones, and an expensive yacht have in common? Oh, just you wait and see. Number five, Motor Yacht A, between 300 and 500 million dollars. With a speculated cost somewhere between 300 and 500 million dollars, Motor Yacht A sure doesn't have the name that epitomizes the cash shelled out for her. Billionaire industrialist and philanthropist, Russian-born Andrei Melnichenko, named her as such so the name would appear first on the shipping registry. Melnichenko has a net worth of $13.4 billion, so when he decided to upgrade to another beast of the ocean, Sailing Yacht A, it was merely pocket change. Sailing Yacht A cost in the region of $500 million and is 143 meters, 24 meters longer than Motor Yacht A, and her interior and exterior were both designed by Philippe Stark. She has digital control systems that allow the sails to be lowered and raised at the touch of a button. She has eight levels accommodating 20 guests with a crew of 54. But sadly, not too much has been divulged about this vessel, but we do know she has an underwater observation pod, a massive swimming pool with a retractable roof and a helipad. Number six, Rev Ocean, between 300 and 500 million dollars. The owner of Rev Ocean, Kjell Inga Rok, has always had a love of the ocean, the Norwegian billionaire started off humbly selling fish off a boat in Seattle. He's the majority shareholder of Acre, a publicly traded shipping and offshore drilling conglomerate. In 2017, he commissioned the superyacht at a cost of between $300 and $500 million, spanning an impressive 183 meters. It's called REV, which stands for Research and Expedition Vessel, and can carry a crew of 90, including guests. It's not built for speed, reaching only 17 knots at best, and that's because it carries two trawlers and one submersible. It also has two helipads and a dedicated ACH-145 Airbus corporate helicopter. She was built by Vard Shipyards based in Romania and designed by Epson Oimio. The purpose of this pricey yacht is not to show off wealth, but rather improve understanding of the ocean and provide concrete solutions for global oceanic problems. Kjell Ingaroka has joined other billionaires like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and Mark Zuckerberg, and committed to giving away most of his fortune through the Giving Pledge. Number 7. Topaz, $527 million Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed has been the proud owner of this expensive yacht since 2012. Another Lursen gem, Topaz had a name change in 2019 to A+. However, no reports suggest the yacht was sold or changed ownership. This glorious eight-decked beauty can reach a maximum speed of 25.5 knots and is 147 meters long. With a net worth of $4.9 billion, adding a gym, swimming pool, hot tubs, jacuzzis, conference rooms, lifts, movie theaters, and two heliports is certainly not going to break the bank. Not too much is divulged about the interior, but we do know it's got a beach house vibe going for it. It's suggested that it's not nearly as formal as the usual mansions its guests would stay in to create a more relaxed atmosphere on the open waters. Some of the toys guests can enjoy include inflatable boats, jet skis, a catamaran, and a tiny submarine. Number 8. Rising Sun – $590 million Jeff Bezos, Oprah Winfrey, and Barack Obama have all enjoyed a glass of the finest bubbly aboard the Rising Sun. One of the founders of DreamWorks Pictures, David Geffen, owns this expensive yacht. He initially shared the costs of the yacht with Oracle founder Larry Ellison, but he bought out his share in 2010. The vessel reaches lengths of 132 meters and reports are divided on the actual cost, estimating anything between $300 million and $590 million. 54 crew members can ensure that the needs of the 18 guests are properly looked after, and those that need to feel like they're on land can always shoot a few hoops in the basketball court. The top deck of the yacht is for the exclusive use of the owner and features a double-height cinema. Now, earlier we asked you, what does 100,000 kilograms of precious metals, dinosaur bones, and an expensive yacht have in common? 
Well, according to many, they all form what has been described as the world's most expensive private yacht, bought by a Malaysian billionaire. The total cost? $4.8 billion. There are not many billionaires in Malaysia, and Robert Kwok was the first choice when it came to decide who purchased the solid gold, History Supreme, complete with real Tyrannosaurus Rex bones. The elaborate story had everyone fooled, and to date, the fictional History Supreme remains just that, fiction. Number 9. Azam – Between $600 million and $650 million Larson Yachts can once again take credit for one of the most luxurious, expensive yachts in the world. Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan is the owner of this 179.7 meter long yacht, making it the longest private yacht in the world. And that's not considering the rev used for research purposes. It can reach 31.5 knots per hour and is believed to be the fastest speedboat over 300 feet long. Very little has been disclosed about the interior and its features, but rumors have circulated claiming there is a 6,000 square foot lounge with up to 50 suites and a 95 foot salon. When the owner has a net worth of $18 billion, we can only imagine the luxuries inside this expensive yacht. And Alexers, if you want to leave the waters and head skyward, be sure to have a look at our video, the top 10 most expensive private jets in the world. Number 10. Eclipse Yacht – $700 million to $1.5 billion $12.1 billion is the net worth of Roman Abramovich, the Russian billionaire who owns the world's most expensive yacht. This luxurious vessel boasts two helicopter pads, cabins for 24 guests, a dance floor, swimming pools, and several hot tubs. Among many other titles, Abramovich is the owner of Chelsea FC. The German-based Blumen Voss took five years to get this beauty into the water, with her length reaching 162 meters and a maximum speed of 25 knots. She won Motor Yacht of the Year in 2011 at the World Super Yacht Awards. The Eclipse can store 150,000 liters of fresh water on board. During the yacht's construction, the German team called it Project Luxury Yacht M147, and the design and construction were kept top secret. The yacht features nine decks, with the top deck dedicated to helicopters and garages. There's a swimming pool and a sun deck on level 8, and level 7 has another pool, an atrium, and an open deck. The other levels feature the main dining halls, salons, cabins, a small club, gym, jacuzzis, elevators, six tenders, private submarine, and a hangar. Each room has a six-foot cinema screen with its own security systems. The master suite takes up the entire fifth level, which spans across 5,000 square feet. You'll never feel concerned about pirates when sailing in this expensive yacht, because safety features include motion sensors, bulletproof glass, anti-ballistic missile defense, and an anti-paparazzi system, which can detect a digital camera and disrupt the photograph. What's more, you can charter this exquisite vessel for about $3.5 million a week. And Alexers, that's a wrap on the top 10 most expensive yachts in the world so far. Which makes us curious, what's the first luxury you would add to your expensive yacht? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. And of course, as a thank you for sticking on board with us, here's a bonus fact just for you. The original use of yachts came in about the 14th century when the Dutch Navy used them to catch criminals, pirates, and smugglers. Charles II loved the little yacht and began using it for his own personal use, along with rich boat owners who would sail them to greet their returning ships, knowing there would be a great fortune on board. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.